Hey, welcome back. So I've got these utensils that I picked up at the dollar store and, and, and they're just bamboo. They're very thin, uh, probably a little over a quarter of an inch. Um, but it got me thinking, these were really cheap. Like I said, they were a buck. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, we laser engraved one of them uh, that we've been using around the house. But what I'm wondering is if I can use some scraps to make some of these it look a bit better. Um, maybe to match our cutting boards uh, and that sort of thing. So um, I'm going at this again, <clears throat> like most things, uh, without a plan. Um, I'm just going to start cutting wood and putting stuff together. And we'll see if we can't figure it out as we go. All right, so I've got some strips here um, that it looks like it's going to be long enough and wide enough um, to use for this spatula. I've got some cherry, uh, paduke, walnut, purple heart, uh, and maple in here. Um, I looked it up uh, for all the different wood species and they all seem to be um, food safe for uh, these kinds of purposes. So I'm just going to glue this up the way I would normally glue up uh, a cutting board or um, anything like that. So let's just glue it up and uh, let this start to dry. So I've got now, I glued up five basically uh, blanks that I'm going to use to make these utensils. They're not all the same thickness, um, and I think that's all right. I, I, this is the first time I've ever done this, so I want to try uh, different thicknesses um, for this project to see what, what works the best. But all of my planks have really good glue lines. Um, I don't have any gaps whatsoever, so that's a plus. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is if I can find it, um, I'm going to cut these out three different ways, just because I know not everybody has a CNC, um, but you probably have one of the tools I'm going to use. So we're going to cut out one or two of these on the CNC, uh, then I want to cut out one of them um, on the... Um, uh, on the scroll saw or the band saw maybe. Uh, and then I want to cut one with a template using my router and a flush trim bit. Um, and that way you can see three different ways to pull off the same result. So let's just go ahead and get started and let's do the first one on the CNC. All right. So before I put this on the CNC, um, I'm just quickly going to use, I've got this five millimeter project panel here. I'm going to put some uh, painter's tape on it and then I'm also gonna put some painter's tape on my blank here. And then what I'm gonna use is some CA glue um, to hold these two together. And that way I can cut through uh, this blank all the way uh, without hitting my spoil board and still having some support underneath it. This, uh, this piece is a little bowed, but we'll just have to make sure we clamp this down really well. Okay, so I cut the two spoons out um, on the uh, CNC machine. Um, you can see one's a, a quite a bit thicker than the other. Uh, I may try and plane this down a little bit. I, I feel like this is a, a, um, a better feel. This is kind of thick. Uh, but anyways, there, the, there those are. Those were CNC cut. Um, I told you I was going to um, use my router and a flush trim bit but I can't find the trust plus trim bit. So what I did was I went ahead and out of some hardboard, I made three templates, um, one for this, uh, this spatula with the hole in it, which I think is a pasta doohickey. And then we've got the slotted spatula and then the solid spatula. 
and basically I just I just use these to transfer onto my blanks. And then as you saw in the video, I cut one on the scroll saw and I cut one on the bandsaw. Uh, but the one I cut, um, I got two in the bandsaw actually. The one I cut on the bandsaw though of the slotted, the slotted uh, spatula, well you can see that, that I went to the scroll saw to do those those cutouts there and, and as you can see they're not wonderful. Uh, I had too thick of a blade, too wide of a blade on the scroll saw so I couldn't really make that radius. Um, I should have, I should have drilled a hole here and drilled a hole at the opposite end and then just cut out the straight, the straight runs there but it is what it is. So now all I have to do is I want to plane these down to the thickness that I want and give them a good uh, either round over or sanding and then they'll be ready to um, they'll be ready to give a bath and, and see how they look. All right, so overall, um, I, well, I've just finished uh, basically sanding everything down. Um, I popped the grain in these just like I would uh, a cutting board. Are they perfect? No, but you know what? They came out pretty good. And for a, basically, for a decorative set of utensils, hey, I think it rocks. Um, what do I do different? Uh, you know, I think I would use smaller pieces of wood, thinner pieces of wood. These didn't come out, you know, what I had envisioned in my head uh, was a lot of colors and a lot of variation. Um, I think the spoon, this spoon here is, is probably the one I got the most in. Um, but, hey, I like them. Let's just give them a bath and we'll call this project done. All right, there you have it. One set of homemade kitchen utensils. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button, please. We are, we are desperately trying to uh, build our following so that we can reach as many people as possible. Um, so, uh, also, if you'd like to try this yourself, the, um, the shapes I just got off of Etsy, part of a kitchen pack. Um, <clears throat> And then I cut templates, as you saw, I cut templates for three of these. If templates for these are something you might be interested in, let me know and, um, and I could probably cut some uh, on the, the CNC and, and ship those out to you um, if there's enough interest for it. But anyways, uh, thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.